So I basically wanted to do an Unisonus inspired project pretty much the second that I even heard of it. Cause like, I mean, it's such a great idea to like, I don't even care anymore at this point. So it's a really great idea to be able to post a video like every day for a year and then delete it. And like the, 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 like the message behind it and all of that. And so I was really inspired when I heard that. And I've had been trying to figure out ideas on how to make something that would be similar to it, but like not like exactly the same in part because, um, you know, I wanted to be my own thing, but also just in that, like, you know, they have a team of editors. They have a lot more resources to help them post a video every single day. And, um, I don't think there's a better example in how I have a hard time with that type of consistency. Um, when I just explained that I meant to po to make this video on November 1st and it is November 3rd because life be lifey that way. Um, because the thing is I spent about like 10 ish years trying to overcome my depression and anxiety and learn how to cope with my autism. But funnily enough, it wasn't until I started making videos on my channel, like videos that I made for me, not with the intent to get an audience so that I could like be financially stable, but for me and for like fun and for what I wanted, that I actually started to have a major improvements with my mental health. Like who, who would have thought that that would happen? So obviously not only will waiting around waste a lot of time, especially can, I don't know, how, no one knows how long they're gonna be here for, but it's also a lot more counterintuitive than I originally thought. So, so I guess my idea kind of like is actually something that is gonna try and tackle that. So starting on, starting this November 13th, the anniversary for Unis Anas, because why not? Um, I'm going to start recording videos and posting them privately on a channel. But instead of posting these videos right away, what I'm going to do is schedule them to be posted like on the same day that I recorded them, but in the following year. So when I record, on the 13th, like 2023, I'll be posting the video on 2024. And there's a handful of interesting things that this does. And like the message that I want to send isn't just something that I want to like communicate to the audience, but also to myself a little bit in a way. And that message is about just like, what's it called? Like, uh, the, the grat gratification, delayed gratification, the, 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 the waiting, the, the having to put tons of effort into a thing before you can actually get the results for it. However, I do not expect that I will be able to post a video every single day, but I will post as many videos as I can. It'll be almost be like a competition that I'm having with myself. I imagine a lot of these videos will be like vlogs where I talk about my day, something that's very simple and easy, and also something that is something that I would want to see in the future, you know, future me looking at past me and being like, oh yeah, haha, ha, I remember when that happened. Because the thing is, like, I've made, I've worked on a bunch of different channels before. I've worked on so many, like, different ideas, um, especially once I got to the point where I was like physically disabled and like didn't know what else to do with myself. I always wanted to have a YouTube channel since, I don't know, since like, <laughs> since my favorite YouTuber was Philip DeFranco <laughs> back when he was Sexy Phil. When I would make those channels and work on those projects, I would try to do something that I was genuinely passionate about, but like also try to find something that I could believe would make money and as a kid I was told that the chances of me being a novelist was like the chances of winning the lottery so I didn't have any faith in the things that I w genuinely wanted to do I figured that they were too niche and so I worked on other niche things that were slightly more of interest for people and those tanked I mean not only that but also just me, current me, I don't have any interest in going back and watching those videos. But the videos that I've been making for the past year or so, like, 
I am so happy and proud that I made those. I'm like, it, it's, and in, in a way it just makes me feel like I've missed out by not doing that sort of thing the entire time. I think about all the other videos that I had thought of that I wanted to make, other video essays on different topics and all that stuff. And I just, I didn't work on them because I didn't think it would be worth it because the only person I could think of who would enjoy that was me. There's a variety of reasons why I want to get over that, like including the whole like, you know, the unus honest YOLO, you only live once. Like this is, this is my life and I need to do things for me sometimes. Even now, I have no idea if anyone's gonna like want to watch my videos a year from now. Like I was actually kind of very disappointed on how few people watched my uh, unus honest video that I made last year. But um, I kind of blame YouTube for that because instead of associating my video with like Unis Honest type stuff or even Mark Player Ethan content, they associated it with like TikTok drama and like just random stuff. So uh, algorithm just, the algorithm messed up a little bit. At the end of the day, that's fine. But um, I was thinking about that video and I remember something that I said in that video. In the future, Things will never be exactly the same as they are right now, ever again. And that is as wonderful of a thing as it is painful. So, considering I am currently in a completely different living situation, that is so... I was... that was so painfully true. <laughs> and also wonderfully true. In a lot of ways, I sort of hope that a year from now I am going to be in a different place and in a lot of ways I don't. I am definitely like curious to see like you know if I like make these little vlogs and like you know the best way that I can explain this is that like in order to have a relationship with your future self you have to reach out to them and that can come in the form of like, you know, not doing as much of the self-destructive stuff as you want because you want to take care of future to you and it can come in the form of writing in journals and all of that. And like, as I'm making the channel, it's gonna be a completely different experience as I'm like focusing on the present. In the future, it's gonna be like a completely different thing where it's suddenly, you know, the present will be the past. And I don't know, I just, there's so many ways that I could ramble about like how I think this project could be like really good, just like maybe even like as a channel in and of itself, I don't know, but if nothing else, I know it will be good for me. My hope is that I will make more than just like one video a week. Um, and, but I'm gonna try to like make as many as I can overall. And so like, you know, counting it up is almost like, you know, creating the scoreboard for myself. And I actually think that what something that would be really cool, and I don't know if anybody would be interested in it, is if, like, you know, maybe you guys could do it too. I mean, why not? Like, I think that that would be really cool just in that, like, you know, we would all be, like, just sort of, like, sharing things with each other at the same time, but also, like, in the future time and... Like the, and like everybody will have like their different styles and their different approaches and their different things that they're doing. Um, and just like being able to like, you know, see the different ways in which we are all going to be like creative and just like doing whatever and having fun. Like, I, I think that that could be really cool. Like even just like the channel names. Cause like I, I, okay, I am struggling. <laughs> okay, so Memento Vitae is okay as a name, I think. But like, I've been trying so hard coming up with like ideas, like um, like basically just punching phrases in Latin, like, you know, one more time or like keep trying or try again or like that, that kind of thing. Cause my thing for it is that like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do all of it, but I'm going to do my best while I can, while this time frame is passing. So, like, you know, trying to figure out a name that both fits the meaning, but also is in Latin, but also doesn't 
sound weird or like fits like the, the the like rhythm of things like it sounds nice like i don't know i, I i'm i'm trying to figure it out um but if nothing else memento vitae is not too bad i've had this idea for a while i've been kind of cooking it for like past couple years like trying to figure out like how to do it and what it would look like and like it's so it's almost like a time capsule sort of a thing except that you're making a time capsule every day or at least as many days as you can and all that and um so yeah that's the unis honest project that i wanted to announce and uh so yeah if you're if you're invested like you know go ahead and leave uh something in the comments to tell me if you're gonna be like making your own channel or whatever it is that you want to do or even just like you know talking about unis honest because it's unis honest time right now um and also, just, like, if, if you haven't seen my video yet on Unis Honest, because, like, that's, you know, it's, um, I have a, my own personal thing where, um, my grandfather passed away literally a week before Unis Honest ended. And I think that experiencing it from, in that way really gave me, like, a certain perspective on it that I really wanted to share and so if uh, yeah th that video is over there I'll probably there's probably an end card like right there that would probably make the most sense to be where that is because I'm about to end this video um and yeah I, I did all the things without a script I'm proud of me goodbye <laughs>